Bonjour and welcome to Paris. I'm Emmanuel Tarpin. For me, it was really important to know how to design jewelry, of course, but also how to make jewelry. So really all the technical aspects. And so that's why I really wanted to work at the bench with the jewelers. I worked at the workshop for Van Cleef and Harpers during three and a half years. And then I built my own brand two and a half years ago. I started at 25. Uh, the first piece I made uh, was a pair of earrings, uh, geranium leaves earrings in uh, colored aluminum and diamonds and yellow gold as well. It was sold at Christie's in New York, the first one. I would say I produce like 20 or 25 pieces a year and I prefer to have like a perfect piece when I, and I'm proud of it, but taking my time. And because I think jewelry is something very intimate, something very personal for the clients, but also for me. And it's always a part of me to my jewels. So when I hand the diamonds, there is a special feeling because I think each stone is always different because of the color, the quality or the cut. And so it's always a new inspiration. It's always a new story that I'm reading. So I love to mix precious materials and non-precious materials. And uh, I use aluminum a lot because of different things. First, aluminum is very light. And so I do pieces with big volume, with different shapes. In gold, it would be impossible, too heavy. And with aluminum, we can color the metal. My work is really focused on the colors. And, uh, and that's why I use aluminum. And I love to use like beautiful stones, but also to, to work directly on the metal. Like, I love to play on contrasts. When I use diamonds, for example, I have a dark matte metal part in contrast with the shiny and the light of the diamonds. It gave a lot of volume, a lot of life. I love white diamonds because it's really the symbol of purity. And also, as I said, to play on the contrast, that's really interesting. And also I, lo I love uh, colored diamonds. There is always a special light into diamonds that we cannot find in other stones. And that's something quite hypnotic and very incredible into diamonds. I'm really inspired by optical arts like Bridget Riley and also Land Art like the British artist Andy Goldsworthy because it's the perfect mix of nature and piece of art. I'm from the French Alps. So I always have been surrounded by nature, by, by beautiful landscape, lake, flowers, leaves. So th there, is, there is so much inspiration. And I'm very focused about the details, the details of a leaf or a flower. Yeah, I always have some paper and a pencil with me to do sketches. And then um, I will do probably some maquettes, like in wax or paper or wood, what, what I have. Because my way of working is quite spontaneous, like my way of living in general. I practiced sculpture during 14 years, so I always need to work on the 3D, not only on the design, on the drawings. I really need to see that in 3D, to see the, the shape, the total volume. My work is focused on the design, of course, but I think it has to be wearable. And like, for example, Rihanna wore a big pair of earrings that I produced, and it was really large pair of earrings, and she didn't feel anything because it was really light, even if she was wearing a lot of diamonds and a lot of metal on her ears. But it always has to be like that, comfortable, wearable, but also focus on the creation, the design. And luxuries don't have to hurt the body. When I meet some clients, sometimes they wear only like a blue jeans and a white t-shirt and they wear like a pair of earrings and it's just a beautiful detail on a total outfit. And I love that because that's the real chic. And I would say that all my clients are very elegant. I do a lot of earrings. Earrings, it's something very special because it's very close to the eyes and to the shape of the face. So it's always different on another woman. Also, it's on the face, so it's the first thing we see. That's really important because it, it, you can bring some real feelings through your jewels. I think we forgot a bit that jewelry is a, a real art, as painting, as sculpture, as haute couture. It's not just putting precious stones on a metal base. Maybe I'm, I'm an artist, but I'm not the only one. I think all jewelers are artists. 